Whoa, Gidget, you look so much like a cat, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, who knew? So easy. Whoa, 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 hold on. It's gonna take more than fake ears and a sock, okay? You gotta learn how to act like a cat. Okay. <laughs> Gidget, stay. But... No, cats don't care about fetching. Fetching is for dopes. You know what they say. There's a dog for every cat lover out there. Do you want to get a dog, but you're more comfortable and familiar with cats? Dog's personality is unique, but some tend more towards behaving like cats. Welcome to Animal Life. Today, we're counting down our top choices on the top 10 dog breeds that act more like cats than dogs. Number 10, Borzoi. Majestic, snobby, and reserved with strangers. Sounds like the traits of a cat, doesn't it? Sharing these same traits is the Borzoi, a big sighthound hailing from Russia. The Borzoi is genuinely one special dog. It rarely barks, and it rarely reacts to strangers, even if that stranger is an intruder. That's how come they can't be depended on as a guard dog. Borzoi dogs are not known to display typical dog-like behavior, like showing dominance or aggression towards humans. Affectionate with the people they care about and indifferent to strangers, they're just like oversized felines, only they shed more often. Number 9. Saluki The Saluki breed has turned it into an art, combining all the traits of both cats and dogs. Initially bred by nomadic tribes to hunt game, they have a renowned independent streak, which can be challenging to train. Aside from that, they love spending quality time with their humans. A Saluki struts with so much grace that it's no wonder the breed was considered to be a gift from above. Number 8. Pekingese With the mane of a lion, the loyalty of a dog, and the attitude of a cat, the Pekingese still shows the same traits it's possessed since being developed by ancient Chinese royalty. This is no typical dog, but a noble one, that has strong opinions just like their noble rulers and emperors. The Pekingese is graceful and sophisticated. While they build deep bonds with their owners and display affection, they're fairly disinterested and will turn the other way when strangers appear. Number 7. Finnish Spitz Originating from Finland, the Finnish Spitz at one time was used to skillfully hunt all types of game animals across the countryside. Today, while they are still highly active dogs that require a fairly large amount of exercise to be happy and healthy, that's about all of their dog-like behavior. Even inside their house, they are independent much of the time, coming to you when they want to and not otherwise, which just makes the times they come to cuddle even more special. Number 6. Afghan Hound Initially created for hunting, the Afghan Hound is shockingly more likely to lay around in a sunny spot than it is to hunt game these days. Elegant and refined in their looks, their personality is that of royalty. Indifferent to strangers, infrequently affectionate with their humans, this sighthound breed is more cat-like than dog. It even does incredibly well indoors. Number 5. Greyhound Greyhounds appear to be the farthest thing from a feline. However, they're actually one of the most cat-like dogs ever. They were first bred for chasing down game, and even today they keep the same instincts and the same focus, only their efforts are likely to be more on chasing a ball around the garden than catching deer. However, once they get their small amount of exercise, which is amazingly less than many breeds, they'll turn into an incredible couch potato. Greyhounds are naturally independent, and though they can be affectionate with their family, it's on their own terms, and nowhere near being considered a clingy. Number 4. Japanese Chin Somewhat kind of cat-like in appearance, this switched-on and wicked clever breed is the cat equivalent of a dog. Sometimes known as the Japanese Spaniel, their traits sound quite familiar. The Japanese Chin is known to jump up and relax in high places, as cats do. They're smart, independent, and while they like spending time with their human, 
they don't strongly rely on that companionship. They also don't require nearly as much exercise as many other dogs. This small breed will be a great fit for cat lovers all around. Number three, Chow Chow. The only difference between the Chow Chow and your typical domestic cat is that the Chow Chow was more predisposed to protective and aggressive behavior when required. Otherwise, you would assume they were more feline than canine, indifference and all. Just like cats, they are highly independent, conducting themselves with a calm dignity. Their world doesn't revolve around their owners, but they're happy to have you hang around. Chow Chow's constant need to be clean is what makes them more similar to cats than any other dog. Number 2. Basenji Also known as the barkless dog, the Basenji is the least dog-like dog you'll ever meet. Their quiet nature makes them appeal to cat lovers, but their independent personality and feisty streak cement the appeal. Basenjis build deep bonds with their owners, but it's different to strangers. You'll notice them being pretty uninterested in normal dog-like activities, like barking the house down. When they're bored, rather than barking, they produce a sound that's called a yodel. But it's a rare occurrence that they'll do it at all. Number 1. Shiba Inu Possessing the loyalty of a dog, the physical appearance of a fox, and the temperament of a cat, no one can dispute that the Shiba Inu is one unique dog breed. Not only are they one of the least social dogs, only loyal to their family, but you'll notice them rejecting typical dog games like fetch. Really, when you hear their traits, you would bet you were living with a cat. After a long history of hunting game, they can creep through the house, moving with cat-like agility. Shiba Inu possess the unusual trait, which is the drive to groom themselves by licking their coats like felines. Sadly, their independent personality causes their training to be somewhat more difficult. But it's well worth the effort when you end up with an independent but loving companion. That's our video for today. Is there any cat-like dogs we missed? Does your dog act like a cat? If so, share with us in the comments. Like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more to come, and as always, we'll see you next time.